All right, so in this one, we're solving a quadratic over C. Uh, now, you might have solved quadratics in the past using the quadratic formula or completing the square. Now, it doesn't always work because when you try to solve a quadratic equation using, say, com um, negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A, sometimes you get a negative underneath this square root sign. And if you get a negative under the square root sign, the whole thing falls down and you're stuck. But because we've got imaginary numbers now or complex numbers now, we can deal with those negatives under the square root sign now. So that's the, the key difference here when we're solving a quadratic equation over C. So I'm going to do this two methods. I'm going to use completing the square. I'm going to use the quadratic formula. Uh, my preference is for you to get comfortable with completing the square just because I think it's more flexible than using the quadratic formula, but either way. So first we're going to do completing the square. So I know that x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals 0. I can complete the square here by halving the b value, squaring it, and then adding and subtracting it. So it's going to be x squared minus 2x, halve it, negative 1, square it, 1, add it and subtract it. So plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 equals 0. Now this part of it is a perfect square, and this part of it's the, the leftover stuff. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 can go in brackets here, and it's going to be x half of that b value, which is negative 1. And this leftover bit, negative 1 plus 2, is plus 1. From there, we just solve it, move the plus 1 over to the other side, negative 1. Square root both sides, x minus 1, square root of negative 1. Ooh, square root of negative 1. All right, so that's going to be x. The negative 1 comes over here and becomes plus. So 1 plus or, I should have done a plus or minus there, plus or minus the square root of negative 1. Finally, you know that the square root of negative 1 is i, so 1 plus or minus i. There are our two answers. The answer is x plus i and x equals, sorry, 1 plus i and 1 minus i. So that was the completing the square version. The other one is the quadratic formula version. So if I do that, it's going to be negative, negative 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 2, all over uh, 2 times 1. All right, so work through this a little bit. Negative, negative 2 is 2, plus or minus the square root. Negative 2 squared is going to be uh, 4 minus 4. Uh-oh. That's 4 minus 8 all over 2. All right, it's looking a little bit ugly, but we'll see where we go to from here. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. There's a negative under the square root sign. That looks like an issue. 2. All right, so from here... The negative 4 is a problem, but we can use uh, an imaginary number to sort that one out. 2 plus or minus the square root, positive 4 times i squared. Okay, so i squared is negative 1 times 4, that makes negative 4, all over 2. The 4 can come out of our square root now as the square root of 4, which is 2. 2 plus or minus uh, 2 root i squared all over 2. Now we can divide the 2's, so we can divide 2 by 2, we can divide 2 by 2, so that's going to be, I'm just going to move up here a little bit, it's going to be 1 plus or minus square root of i squared, which is going to be uh, 1 plus or minus i. Alright, so I feel like the quadratic formula, uh, it's a bit ugly, you have to muck around a little bit. I find completing the square to be a simpler method, but you go with what you're most comfortable with.